and welcome back to my channel. We are back today with another full face makeup tutorial. I started a brand new series on my channel where I'm doing a full face of one makeup brand. Today is going to be Makeup Revolution, which has been a very highly requested video. I felt like for the longest time, whenever I would walk into a drugstore, there will just be like Makeup Revolution everywhere. I feel like they have the biggest stand with the biggest amount of products, which actually for me felt very overwhelming. So that's why I was like, Tweet, you need to film this video because if it's overwhelming for me I can only imagine that it must be overwhelming for all of you guys as well so if you're from across the pond you can pick up Makeup Revolution from Ulta I actually picked up all the stuff online so it was quite hard to pick the shades and everything like that but we're going to be testing out the primer the foundation the concealer eyeshadows lip products we're going to be testing it all out in this video and I'm going to be telling you guys the best and worst for Makeup Revolution so if you guys want to know all that tea please keep watching Okay guys, so we're about to get started. I literally just washed my hair. That's why my hair looks damp and it looks a bit crazy right now. So we're gonna start off with primer. I'm gonna go in this primer called Hydra Matte Primer. This is the hydrating primer serum. So this is from Revolution Pro. I don't know if Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro, Obsessions Makeup, I don't know if they're from the same brand. They literally look exactly the same when you walk into store, so I have no idea. But we're gonna go in this damn primer. Okay, so it has a pump, which I like. It feels very smooth. It's actually quite nice. It has got a little bit of a silicone feeling to it. So that's basically gonna fill in all your pores and fine lines and stuff. Sometimes I find with primers like this though, it's a bit too slippery where your makeup will kind of slide off, especially if you have oily skin. But it definitely feels smooth, guys. My pores are filled. Okay, so I wasn't sure what foundation to go for. They have one called Conceal and Define. I think this one kind of went viral on the internet for a little bit. Everyone was like raving about this foundation. And then they recently brought out the Conceal and Hydrate radiance foundation i'm gonna pump both of my hand and we'll see what texture i prefer so i'm gonna try out the shade 9.5 so let's try out the conceal and define first this is a full coverage foundation which sounds good it's a little bit dark for me though i'm not gonna lie it kind of reminds me almost of a concealer because of the big doe for applicator and then with the conceal and hydrate this is a medium to full coverage also in the shade 9.5 and this one has a pump Okay, so this is the Conceal and Define foundation. I'm guessing it's the more matte version and this is the hydrating foundation. As you guys can see, this one is a lot more runny, but both are in the shade 9.5 and I do have to say that they're very similar in colour. One of my pet peeves is when brands bring out foundations and they don't match the colours. Like, bitch, keep to your colouring system. Okay, so I literally don't know what one to use, so I think I'm going to do half and half. Guys, I'm actually going to go out today to an event. Please appreciate this video. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to be going out with like two different sides of foundation on my damn face. Okay, so I don't want to waste foundation. So I'm going to like scrape it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to do hydrating on this side here. This colour is way too dark for me. Jesus Christ. And then on the other side, we're going to do the conceal and define. This big old applicator. Goddamn. So big old foot up in here. The colours actually look quite different now that it's on my skin. This one's actually a little bit lighter. This one has oxidized like a motherfucker. Like, that's gone so dark. Look at my forehead. Okay, one pump on that side. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna use a brush to buff this in. I've actually been really liking using a brush recently for my foundation. I know. Twee, not using a sponge. Like, who is she? Okay, so this is what the hydrating foundation looks like on it actually looks really nice blended out i'm liking it for a nine pound foundation it's ticking all the boxes okay on this side i'm gonna blend out this foundation here which i can tell has fucking dried in already why did i apply all these fucking stripes i have no idea so the undertones of these two are definitely different this one has a bit more like a little bit of a peachy undertone this one's definitely more yellow they're both not as olive as i personally would like it to be it was so weird when i was in store swatching all of the different shades of foundation i felt like the coloring was definitely so jumpy because everything is like eight nine nine point five i was like really confused about what the undertones were and stuff i wish that drugstore would just make matching your color a lot more simple i definitely feel that's what is lacking inside of the drugstore especially when you try to find a foundation like foundation is one of the hardest things to find and I feel like it's such an important step of your makeup routine that it's such a shame that the foundations in store are all like wrapped up you can't swatch them even the testers they're all horrible and like squeezed and used up and dry and empty so yeah I just 
really hope that the jogs will just like knocks it up a peg or two, you know? Okay, so I just blended out another layer and I can definitely tell that I prefer the more matte version of it. I felt that when I was layering up the product, it was not going patchy. I felt like with the hydrating one, because it was so hydrating, I felt like because I was applying a new layer, it kind of moved the layer underneath that was kind of trying to set. Overall, I feel like this side has less creasing. This side, I feel like I've got a bit of creasing on my smile lines. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the infamous concealer now. So there's also a conceal and hydrate concealer, which I'll try obviously with the hydration foundation. And then there's also the Conceal and Define Concealer to match the foundation. So we're gonna try concealers on both sides as well, I guess. Oh my God, I haven't got the same shade. Oh, how annoying. Okay, so we're gonna go in the Conceal and Hydrate on this side. I'm using the shade C5.7. Okay, and this is going underneath my eye. I'm actually so shocked at how full coverage these products are. Whenever I use drugstore products, I just find the coverage is just like, Mm. Okay, and then on the other side, I'm going to try the Conceal and Define in C8.5. This one has a slightly smaller dough for applicator. So this concealer is meant to be a good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So we're definitely going to put that to the test. Buff this out as much as we can so that it's not too crazy underneath my eyes. I feel like this is a bit light. Ah! I don't like it too light underneath my eyes because when I take photos and stuff, it just looks crazy. Oh my god, it literally looks like fucking white underneath my eyes. It looks ashy. This eye's definitely a bit better. I still feel like it kind of sits on top of the skin. It doesn't like blend in with the foundation. I can definitely see where I put the concealer, which some people might actually really like, you know? Some people like really light underneath the eyes. I personally prefer it all to like be meshed together. Okay, so I just blended out the concealer. I'm pretty sure on camera you'll be able to tell exactly where I put the concealer because it's very like bright underneath those areas, I think anyways. I actually just went outside into natural daylight and this foundation definitely does not go with my neck. I thought that it did. Maybe the lights are like washing it out a little bit, but the colour is definitely like a line of demarcation. Also, I'm getting creases everywhere around my mouth, guys. All up in my smile lines and around here. On both sides so just to warn you if you're quite wrinkly then this might settle in the fine lines okay so before I set everything I'm gonna go in with a cream stick contour so this is a foundation stick but it's in the shade f13 which I thought would be a really good shade to contour with okay so I'm gonna put this on my forehead the stick feels really nice and creamy and I like this undertone as well it's not too red which is nice oh I like it I like it guys it's really hard to find a good bronzing kind of stick from the drugstore so this might be the one definitely no Fenty matchstick dryness up in here okay so for powder I'm gonna go in the conceal and fix loose setting powder in the shade medium yellow this powder is so unnecessarily chunky like why is the lid so freaking thick like you don't need that much space for the powder to pour out you know shake your goo thing shake your goo thing come on i feel my bingo wings shaking i don't know why guys there's no powder coming out of this fucking thing this is just what's gonna do a little bit of powder there like there's nothing coming out oh my god my under eyes has creased so badly make sure you blend this all out before you set it otherwise you'll set in all the horrible creases okay now we're going underneath the eyes guys this foundation just keeps creasing around my nose and my smile lines it's literally like really deep set creases but this powder is making me look, me look really old it's really sticking to any little fine lines making it look really wrinkly Oh my god, my forehead's creasing as well. Okay, so I just quickly done my eyebrows off camera. I didn't have any Makeup Revolution products for our brows. I'm pretty sure they do like a pomade and stuff, but I don't have any. So I just did my normal brow routine, which I already have on my channel already, if you guys haven't seen it yet. Okay, so we're going to sweep away this under eye powder. I have a feeling it's got quite like crystal bits in it that kind of reflects light. Because I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of looking a bit pearly, which I am not a fan of when it comes to powders. Okay, so we're going to go in with a blusher next. This is called Peach Bliss. Okay, testing out this blusher. I'm always on a hunt for a good blusher, so. Did I even show up? Hello? Where's the powder? Hello? Oh no, I can't really see anything. Okay, I'm really piling it on, guys. Where's the pigment? It's not hardly anything on my brush. I'm slowly building this up. It is definitely not as pigmented as I would have liked. But it will do. It's a nice colour though, I like the shade. Okay, then for bronzer, I've got a shade called Long Weekend. I think this has like a sheen to it because it has some gold reflexes in it. 
I don't mind like a sheen in my bronzer. I think it actually makes your skin look really nice and healthy. Okay, the bronzer is nice. It's a bit orangey, but it is quite like a nice sheen. I definitely don't think you can get away with this shade if you are quite pale because it will look very orange on you. You will look like orange fantastic. Okay, so my friend Rachel Leary, she has collaborated with Makeup Revolution and she created the Ultimate Goddess palette. And inside here, she's got really nice blushes. We've got some eyeshadows and some highlighters as well. So I'm going to go with this shade called Aphrodite. I'm not sure if Makeup Revolution has like a proper golden highlight. If you guys know of one that they do, let me know down below. It's not a shade of highlight that I normally go for, if I'm completely honest. It's definitely a lot more pinkish, a bit more silvery. Okay, what do you guys think of that highlighter? Do you like that shade? The highlighter is nice. It's not personally something I would normally go for. It's a bit frosty, pursy for me. Okay, so the first palette I've got is called Tasty Chili, which is this one here. It looks quite cute. I also picked up this one, which is called Tasty Pizza. And this is probably one of the least exciting palettes out of them all. It probably would be a palette that I would never go for. I feel like the colours in here are a bit weird. It's got a bit of a silver in there, it's got a bit of blues, but then it's got orange and a bit of purpley, pinky shade. I don't know, I feel like this palette's a bit random for me personally. However, my favourite palette is this one, which is called Tasty Avocado. It's got a juicy avocado at the front here. And I think this is so pretty. It's got a really, really nice selection of like some browns. It's got some greens in there. It's got a really nice dark green as well. I feel like this is just like so pretty right up my street. So I think we're gonna go in with green today. Okay, so to start off with, I'm gonna go with some eyeshadow primer. This is called Prime and Lock. Okay, and it's just blending this all the way in. It's one of those eyeshadow primers that doesn't blank out the eyelid. Oh. I don't know about this guys, it's kind of like wiping away all my concealer underneath. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's gone very patchy! So we're gonna go in with the Tasty Avocado palette. Okay, let's see some swatches. I'm gonna do a swatch of Bite, which is actually very pigmented, love it. Smoothie, it's right up my street. I love shades like this. Oh my god, that's so nice, very unique. Let's also try Brunch. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. And then foodie as well. These shades are so pretty. Like, this formula looks super, super pigmented. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. Okay, so we'll start off with the shade called Avo. I think green is definitely people's least favourite colour to wear. So hopefully we can change the perception of that. I actually really like green eyeshadows. I love green and blue on brown eyes. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm mainly putting this on the outer corners. It's going a bit patchy, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. I don't know if it's because of that eyeshadow base, but it's going a bit weird on my eyes. I'm trying to make it work, guys. I'm going to try my hardest, okay? Oh, I'm trying to blend it out a bit higher, and it's just really, like, sticking to that eyeshadow base or something because it's not blending out. Okay, I'm going to go in with this shade called Toast. Very dusty, though. It's got a lot of fallout on it. Okay, so this is going to go a bit higher because I want it to kind of fade out into a brown. I had to really make sure I tap off the excess of this one because there's a lot of fallout everywhere. Like, look at this. Look how much fallout there is. Oh my god, so much fallout. It's like freaking chalk. Okay, so this brown is blending into that green and it literally looks like puke right now. So I need to try to diffuse the shade. Okay, I'm going to go back in with that Avo shade, that dark green. And I'm going to buff this out just so that it turns a bit more green again. Okay guys, on this eye, I'm gonna try to blend out the brown first. I'm using this shade now, it's called Seed. It's just fucking so much fucking fallout. Never seen that amount of fallout before from a palette. Do you know what though? I can't complain because these palettes are like so cheap and affordable. So if they are good, I definitely wanna, you know, shout them out and tell you guys about some amazing products. But at the same time, I also have to keep it real so you guys know what you are expecting whenever you buy a product, you know? I feel like it's blending a little bit better now that I've blended out the brown underneath. I feel like this green, it just goes so patchy, guys. I'm not liking how this look is turning out. Okay, guys, so I'm trying to buff out this green and honestly, it just looks shit. <laughs> I don't know how to save it, guys. It just literally looks like fucking Green Lantern eyes. I'm trying to put some brown in the crease, trying to make it look a bit more modern. I don't know. It's just, it looks like I'm like a super Marvel hero or something. Uh, it's just not blending out the way that I wanted it to. It's clinging to all these patches. And yeah, it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to try to like 
do a cut crease or something to make it look a bit more snazzy. So I picked up this product here. It's called Cut Crease Canvas and it's in the shade medium. So I saw this and it looks really cool. So basically it's got a brush. That first eyeshadow primer was horrendous. So maybe this might be a bit better. The brush has little bristles that keep spiking out. So it keeps touching the eyeshadow base where I don't want it to touch. Now I'm just going to use a brush to just blend this out. Okay, the creases are cut. I don't know if they're even. I try to get them as even as possible. I'm trying to keep looking down because if I look up, you guys can see it's fucking rolled over on my little hooded lids. So I need to quickly set this base as quick as I can. I actually do recommend the eyeshadow base though because I feel like if you're on a budget but you still want to create these Instagram bomb looks, then, you know, Makeup Revolution is super, super affordable. Why? Tell me why? Oh, that's really annoyed me. It's not the base's fault. It's my freaking eyelid's fault. I don't know why they just crease over like this, guys. It's just so annoying. Okay, I'm going to go in with this shade called Brunch. It's actually a really nice shade. It's going on so well. It's one of my favourite kind of shades. These kind of like icy, turquoisey blues. On the middle here, I'm going to go in this shade called Smoothie. Now I'm going to put this all over my lid just so that it has a really nice gradient from that dark green to a bright green to that turquoisey shade. So I've never tried a green like this before. It's like a, a proper green green. Okay, I'm going to go in a bit more of that Hass shade and then just underneath the eyes i'm just gonna blend this out just so that it's kind of like smoky underneath as well okay i just popped a bit of this lime green just in the middle in a corner section just to see what it looks like but i'm gonna go in with eyeliner now eyeliner normally kind of fixes everything so this is the liner revolution Walter Brove intense black felt tip liner okay so it's basically one of those standard felt tip liner pens oh and it's quite dry it's not the blackest these are like the worst kind of eyeliners for me. Like it's not even that black. I have to keep going on top of it loads of times to get it really inky. Oh my god. How am I going to do a flick like this? Look. Oh my god. It's not even going on properly. Oh no. Okay. This is probably one of the worst eyeliners I've ever tried. <laughs> Guys, it's not even going on. Hello. Is there any ink that's going to come out? Come on, I'm pressing so hard. Okay, so I've got the liner and lashes on. I don't know if you guys can see, but that liner was literally so terrible, guys. I was like trying to shake it like this, trying to get ink to come out. And then, yeah, it was just a nightmare. But I ended up sticking on the lashes and it just made it look so much better. These are from Tattoo Lashes in the style TL4. Okay, so now for lips, I've got two different lip products. One is called the Pro Supreme Matte pigment this actually reminded me of NARS the packaging just looks mighty similar and then we also have the lip gloss in the shade chocolate orange so we're gonna go in the matte first and then this on top this is quite a dark nude oh god it's fucking purple it looks like nude online no this lip definitely doesn't go with these eyes so we're not gonna carry on with this lip so let's go in with just a lip gloss it has kind of an orangey scent to it I tried to put like a light nude on the website and literally this is like quite a dark nude. It's okay, it's not like the worst lip gloss in the world, but the colour is a bit too dark I think for this eye. The formula is okay, it's not really sticky, it's just a shade that isn't the most flattering I think for my skin tone. Oh. Okay guys, so this is my full face of Makeup Revolution. I actually really love the overall makeup look. I feel like the green is a really, really cool different take on things especially if you want to go for something a bit more color i definitely feel like colorful eyeshadows is definitely missing in the drugstore so props to makeup revolution for filling in that gap because they have so many different eyeshadow palettes products that i would recommend is the foundation the foundation actually looks really really nice especially for the price for nine pounds it definitely gives you coverage they've got a huge shade range it does have a little bit of problem with creasing but you know it's only nine pounds you can't expect like the whole freaking world you know what i mean products that i would avoid would be the price and lock eyeshadow base this made my eyeshadow go really really patchy so i felt like it was a disaster this product on the other hand i actually really like the cut crease canvas this also comes in a few other shades as well so if you guys want to create some really nice bold eyeshadow looks the cut crease primer is really really good i would recommend that also the eyeliner was not the greatest it's probably one of the worst eyeliners i've tried in a long time even the primark eyeliner was so much better than the makeup revolution one and that one was only like one pound or something like that overall i actually 
really do like makeup revolution products i feel like they definitely have fitted into a market where there's so many products that were just needed in the drugstore field so props to makeup revolution for filling in that gap they have so many products guys it's actually overwhelming they have so many different stands so many different types of makeup revolution products like i heart revolution obsession makeup like they just have a bit of everything so if there's any other products you guys want me to try it for makeup revolution let me know down below in the comments i feel like i've only like scratched the surface with makeup revolution because they have so many products it's just so overwhelming let me know if there's any other bits that i definitely need to pick up and if you guys want me to do a part two of trying that makeup revolution products if there's any other brands you guys want to see me do a full face of makeup from let me know down below the comments and that's it for this video guys i'll see you in my next one bye enjoy the bloopers how lovely there's an onion in my tooth would you guys have told me in the comments if i had an onion in my tooth the whole time the fuck get the fuck out of me oh my god my fucking mic is here hello can you hear me better now should i start again what would grand tell me ah okay let me start again the dogs are barking, the birds are chirping. I will be back. Oh, great. BRB. Okay, let me try it on the other side. Oh, fucking dogs are barking. Shut up! Also, I'm getting creases everywhere around my mouth, guys. All up in my sideburns. I mean, my sideburns are here, bitch. How many fucking times does the doorbell need to ring? Hello, camera. Hi there. How are you? And then there's my monitor. Hello? Oh my god, the fucking doorbell's going off again! I get so many compliments, and is there any point in me talking? Because there's fucking dogs barking! Time to film the thumbnail, I need to go. Bye, bitch. See ya! Come in.